Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Finney, coming at you this Wednesday afternoon from the studio here on Wall Street. And what a way to end the day. The Dow Jones surging, the rain is pouring, and the drinks, they're about to be served. You know why, because it's nearly 4 o'clock, the markets, they're about to close. And me and the crew, we're ready to uh, throw our hands in the air and drink like we don't care, because it's happy hour in the Big Apple. U.S. stocks, they're higher this Wednesday as the Dow and the S&P near their 52-week intraday highs touched last summer. Seriously. Now, traders first attributing rising stocks from gains in oil prices as well as a weaker U.S. dollar. The dollar index trading about 0.2% lower intraday. Also, oil futures settling up today 87 cents or one and three quarters percent on the upside, $51.23 a barrel. This after the EIA showed a draw of 3.2 million barrels in crude and bills as well in gasoline and distillate inventories. Meanwhile, on the economic front, the job openings and labor turnover survey, better known as JOLTS, showing that there were about 5.8 million job openings in the end of April. At the same time, European stocks closing slightly higher, Asian stocks mixed overnight, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average on pace for its third straight day of gains and trying to hold above the psychologically key 18,000 level. Let's now see if it held that key level towards the bell. And rather than talk about corporations, because there really wasn't much going on, I had to talk about sports. But one disclaimer, I'm not talking about a certain baseball team from Queens, because every time I mention their name, they always lose. But hey, yesterday, what a day for the USA. It's over. They won already, so I could talk about it. Domination of Costa Rica. U.S. domination. Sounds perfect. It was sweet and something that must be addressed as well. The presidential picture is set. Clinton versus Trump. Who you got? Or you're going to combine them together and form clump. It's going to be interesting to say the least. From Modern Wall Street saying I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. I'm James Swinney.